Hey, kids! Let's read today Disney's book on the adventures of Mr. Toad. One summer morning, Mole went to see his good friend Rat. It's a beautiful day for a picnic, Ratty," said Mole. "So it is," said Rat. "Let's take my boat out on the river." Before long, Rat was ready. He handed a picnic basket to Mole. Then they rowed down the river. The two friends ate their lunch in the shade of a willow tree. Ah, this is the life," said Rat. "Yes," said Mole. "Lots of food, and no fuss and bother." On the way home, they passed Toad Hall. Their good friend Mister Toad lived there. "I wonder how Toad is," said Rat. "He has been awfully quiet. He must be keeping his promise," said Mole. "He is staying out of trouble." But Toad was not keeping his promise. He had just bought a new motor car. And for Toad, a car was trouble. Toad loved to drive, but he was a terrible driver. He went too fast. He stopped for nothing. He was a terror on the road. Toad pulled up in front of Toad Hall. He leaped from his car. I must get hold of Mole and Ratty, he said. They will love my new car. Toad rushed into the house. He threw off his driving clothes. Then he sat down at his desk and wrote a letter to his friends. Late that day, Rat and Mole got back to Rat's house. They found a letter tucked in the door. Rat opened the letter. It said, "Dear friends, please come to tea tomorrow. I have a surprise for you, Toad." All evening, Mole and Rat worried about Toad's surprise. "What can Toad be up to now?" said Mole. "We had better talk to McBadger," said Rat. "He knows how to handle Toad." The next day, Mole and Rat went to visit McBadger. They showed him Toad's letter. I am sure Toad is up to no good," said McBadger. "I'll go with you." Toad met his friends outside Toad Hall. "Hello, hello!" cried Toad. "Look at my new motor car! Isn't it grand?" "What are you thinking of, Toad?" said McBadger. "You know you are a terrible driver. Remember what happened last time. You wrecked your car." "This time will be different," said Toad. I promise to drive carefully. Come on, I will show you. Let me take you for a ride. Only Rat and Mole would get in the car. Toad drove off. Nothing good will come of this," said McBadger. And nothing good did come of it. Toad drove faster and faster. Slow down, Toad," said Rat. But Toad did not listen. "Isn't this fun?" cried Toad. "Look out!" yelled Rat. The car ran off the road. It crashed into Farmer Brown's fence. The three friends flew out of the car and landed on a haystack. The car was wrecked, but no one was hurt. "I've had enough," said Rat, and he and Mole marched away. Farmer Brown was very angry with Toad. "You've ruined my fence!" he yelled. But Toad was not listening. Toad had spotted the farmer's new motorcycle. "Here, I'll pay," Toad said, and he did. Toad paid for the fence, and he bought the farmer's motorcycle. Toad hopped on the motorcycle and roared off. The motorcycle was even more fun than a car. Toad zoomed along the roads. He frightened all the animals. Suddenly, the road came to an end. The motorcycle stopped, but Toad did not. That evening, Mole and Rat sat peacefully by the fire. Toad should be all right for a while, said Mole. He doesn't have a car any more. Just then, there was a knock. McBadger came running in with the newspaper. "Have you heard what happened to Toad?" he said. The newspaper gave the bad news. Toad was in the hospital. "Oh dear, poor Toad," said Mole. "We'll have to go and see him." The next day, the friends visited Toad in the hospital. Toad had broken his foot. "It's really not so bad," said Toad. "Just a little accident." "You can't go on like this, Toad." Said McBadger, "You've got to mend your ways." "You're right," said Toad. "I've learned my lesson." Soon, Toad's friends left. "A broken foot," said Mole. "Poor Toad won't go anywhere for a while." Toad was bored. He hated staying in bed. That evening, a nurse left a wheelchair outside his room. "Wheels," said Toad. He hopped out of bed and went to look. On the wheelchair were a lady's robe and nightcap. They gave Toad an idea. Toad put on the clothes. No one will know me, he said. 
Then Toad climbed into the wheelchair. He pushed on the wheels. The wheelchair moved. The wheelchair was great fun, and now Toad could get out of the hospital. All he had to do was follow the red arrows. A kind guard opened a door for Toad. Good evening, ma'am. The guard said. Toad kept following the red arrows. He found the back door of the hospital and escaped. Toad wheeled himself through the moonlit countryside, all the way back to Toad Hall. Over at Rat's house, Toad's friends were drinking cocoa and talking. Thank goodness Toad wasn't hurt badly," said Mole. "Thank goodness he's stuck in bed for a while," said Rat. "Thank goodness he can't drive with a broken foot," said McBadger. The next day, the friends went fishing on the river. Everything was peaceful and quiet, but then a noise broke the stillness. A motorboat was speeding up the river. The noise got louder and louder. With a roar, the motorboat passed close by. It upset the rowboat. Who was the careless driver? It was Toad. Ahoy there! He called. How do you like my new boat? Isn't it grand? Toad waved happily to his friends. He would never change. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.